Well, my understanding of it is it's kind of, you know, he's interested in cabinets of curiosities and that kind of thing and all the different elements that that entails. And obviously my work sits quite well with that because it's yeah. taxidermy and uh, it's sort of fairly macabre, I guess. And uh, Joe and I, we probably go back about five or six years since I started making art, actually. He was interested in buying the first piece I ever made. Mm -hmm. And uh, we sort of struck up a friendship. He's always been really, really supportive of my work. And we've always talked about doing something together. And finally, I am part of this, so right, came so together finally, yeah. I told him for my idea for this flying machine piece, which is called Departures, behind us, about probably two years ago. Okay. I'd started making it uh, about a year and a half ago. I made the two vultures, but didn't really have the funds to put it together. And he's always said, you know, we'll do something with it at some point. So it's been a really kind of slow process, but suddenly the last three months it accelerated and we, we made it and here it is. So The idea came because I was reading about how we harness the sort of power of animals generally in life and in history, how we've used pigeons, for instance, to kind of carry messages across and now they save lives in the, in the wars and all that kind of thing. Yeah. And uh, I just came across, it was just a really, really tiny paragraph in a, in a bigger book about this subject that said that at one point we, in the Victorian times, we believed that we could harness birds' wings to their sort of power of flight to, to fly ourselves. And I just thought it was a really sweet, kind of whimsical idea, but at the same time it made sense. And I wonder whether anyone had ever tried it. And I started looking more deeply into it and I found some drawings. Actually, weirdly, I'm wearing this scarf now, right, which I found it on eBay. It's a Hermes scarf. And I bought it for myself, especially for the show, because it's got a drawing here of birds tying. Uh, uh, Oh, pulling yeah. a thing, uh, pulling uh, a air balloon, and it's called Les Folies du Ciel, the madness of the skies. Yeah, and it's easy to laugh about ideas like that now, now that we've kind of, you know, the benefit of hindsight, but I can see why they would have thought that, that would be possible. Yeah. And I found this really sweet etching that someone had done, which yeah. had, it was like a, it was kind of, it was similar to this, it was a cylindrical structure with a kind of carriage uh, right bang in the middle of it, actually, I think. And it had about 12 eagles carrying it. Accompanying it was this text that this inventor had written, this anonymous inventor, saying that he he thought we could put little harnesses on the birds and have straps coming to the cage, and the person inside could sort of navigate and steer the birds like that. And I just thought it was a shame because it never actually got made. I thought it'd be nice to make it, so I kind of redesigned it and made the carriage more into a kind of bird cage design and made it a little bit more colourful, and, and that's it really. I did all the taxidermy myself with the help of my assistant Kim, who I've taught to do taxidermy over the last couple of years. Um, and it, I mean, the whole process from start to finish of the taxidermy started about a year and a half ago when I, I was able to get hold of these two white back vultures. Once I'd done those, I, I decided I needed a third because I thought it would balance it out more. And uh, luckily, my taxidermy teacher had one extra. So once they were all put together, it was then a question of getting lots of little kind of colorful birds and just sort of filling in all the gaps and making it look like a big kind of bouquet, really. Um, I, it seems to me, I mean, in my own personal experience, is that it's really starting to pick up again. I had a big slump six or so months ago, a year even. I think, I guess it's people panicking and it's, it's a luxury really, ultimately, art. It's not a necessity, so obviously it's going to be the first thing to go if people are trying to kind of save money. Um, and I think now people are kind of getting the confidence to start sort of buying it and everything again. But I think it's been really, really good for artists actually. Honestly, for me particularly, I know that, you know, not selling anything for six or eight months or whatever it was made me really, really reevaluate everything and start to think much. I didn't take anything for granted. I worked a lot harder. I kind of made sure that I was much more kind of sure about what I was making before I started making it and I think it's been a good thing for me definitely.